everybody, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be talking about different ways to do your eyebrows. There are a bunch of different products out there that all do different things and all work differently. So I am going to be talking about four different products. Before we get into it, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up to show me that you like what I'm doing on this channel and hit that subscribe button so you will be notified when I put out my new videos every Tuesday and Friday. So if you want to learn how to do your brows, keep on watching. So for this video, I'm going to zoom you guys in really close so you just kind of have this range that you can see. I will talk through what I am doing on my brows, which products I am using, take off brows in between. The first product that I'm going to talk about is a brow powder or an eyeshadow. When you pick a brow, you don't want to pick something that has a lot of red undertones for at least the someone with my hair type. You want to pick something that matches your tone, your undertone, your hair color, and basically the look you want to go for. Some people want to rock a different color eyebrow and that's totally up to them. So I'm going to zoom you guys in and show you guys what I'm doing. All right, so welcome to the zoom in of my face. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to brush up and shape your brows with a spoolie brush. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to take a angled eyeshadow brush like this. And that's what I'm going to be using to put on almost all of these eye products today. So I am dipping in very lightly to the espresso shade, tapping off any excess and we're going to start. When I do my brows, I always start with the color up in this region and brush back into the arch and then do the tail. A brow powder or an eyeshadow will not adhere to skin so it is not a good way to give your brow any shape so this actually would be a great option for someone who has brows like me that has a pretty clearly defined eyebrow shape and you just kind of want to fill in the sparse areas and then i will set it with a wax which i don't have right now or some sort of filler so i am going to fill it with the Essence Make Me Brow, which is a eyebrow gel mascara. I am going to untwist this and just brush it through. This will help the powder stick into your brows. And just really give them shape. All right, so that's one brow done. I actually really like how that turned out. I haven't filled my eyebrows with powder probably since I was in high school and I really like how it looks. I mean, I'm really not, I'm really not mad at it. It looks pretty good. So for this brow, I am going to use an eyebrow pencil. This is something that a lot of people would use on the day to day. It's something that I do when I just want a really quick brow that I can just run up to the store with or run to work or something like that. And it's what most people have in their makeup collection to use on the everyday. So the one that I am using is the Annabelle Stay Sharp Waterproof Brow Liner, and I'm using it in the shade Dark Brown. This is what it looks like. Just like the other eye, I'm going to start with brushing up my brow. You will see that this is a step. On there. This is a step that I do every single time I put any sort of product on my brow. It helps tame them, it gives them the best shape. I have a, it's probably on the thicker end of what most brow pencils are, but I'm gonna go with it and see how it works. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of trace out my brow shape. I'm going to trace the upper and lower portions so I know where I want to fill in. It is easier to kind of fake your arch and create a different shape when you're using a pencil. And I will always draw my arch a little higher than it actually is. So I just draw on top of where the hairline is and then I will kind of just go back down. Am I still in? Oh, I'm not in. And then I will go back down. So I have the upper portion line, so I'm going to do the bottom. I always lift up my brows when I do my brows. I don't know if average people do that. I always lift so I can kind of see a really good line of where everything is. 
So when I'm doing the inner portion, I will very lightly draw there. And then I will draw a little bit, push a tiny bit harder for the rest of my brow. All right, so now that I have my brow outlined up and down, I'm gonna go into the inner corner and make sure that this area is the way I want it. So I like to kind of see where my bottom most point of my brow is. So mine's right there and look kind of up and I have a little bit of a bald spot. I sometimes like to leave mine rounded like I kind of did here and sometimes I like a more defined line and I'll fade it in. So I'm going to go to the upper area kind of see where this bald spot is and very lightly fill that in in very light brush stroke or pencil strokes that kind of mimic what hair would look like. And then I'll begin filling in my brows in those same small brush like strokes. A little bit too much there. Then I'm going to go in with my brush and just brush it upwards. See if there's any bald spots and I did pretty good. A little bit more there. And that is the pencil. All right, so let's talk about these two different products. So the eyeshadow that I used for this brow, I actually really like. I think that it fills in my brow a little bit better than the pencil did. I think the opacity is really nice. However, it would be hard to create a shape with an eyeshadow or a brow powder product. While the pencil was a little bit harder to fill in the sparse areas without making your brow look like it's just drawn on with a pencil crayon but it was much easier to get a shape out of it. So I'm gonna take off these two products and we will move on to the other two products I have for brows. All right, so I took my brows off and we are ready to move on to the next two products. So the next product that I have here is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Soft Brown. So I'm going to zoom you guys in and show you how I use this product. All right, so when I use this product, I use a angled brush again. So this product, if anyone has used it, which I'm sure people have because it's extremely popular, it dries out quickly. So I just kind of rejuvenated mine with a very small drop of argan oil and it seems to have done the work, done the job. It's a little bit more creamy than it was originally, but I don't mind it. So I'm going to, this is what I have in here. So I'm going to dip in and then I'm going to brush the brush to clean off the sides of it because I just want the product on the tip. And I am going to start these, I'm going to do this brow. So I always start when I use this pomade on the top portion of my arch. And this is the product that I can get the best fake arch out of, which is why I tend to use this product almost all the time when I do my brows because this arch sits higher than this arch naturally. So I like to kind of even them out. So I start kind of midway my brow and use very small strokes and draw up to where I want the top of my arch to be, which is a tiny bit higher than where my brow sits. So just like that. And then because I put so little product on the brush, I am already going back in and wiping it off. It's better to have too little and then build it back up rather than put too much on because then you will ruin your brow. You'll try to take it off and that's like your makeup. It's not a good deal. So then I do the tail and I angle the brush down. Hi Luna. And I angle the brush down and small strokes go to the tip of my eyebrow. Then I will do the under portion of my arch. So for this part, I will push the product into my brow. So I'll start here and I'll kind of use this sweeping upwards motion so that I'm not drawing the product in a harsh line this way. So now that I've reached the uppermost point of my arch, I will just fill in that tip a little bit more, blending the product from the bottom arch into the tail. 
So then I will go into the bottom portion here. I again raise my eyebrow when I do this and very lightly draw the inner bottom part of my eyebrow on since I have sparse hair down there. And then I will slowly just start to move up. I won't really put any product on my brow here or on my brush here. Just kind of fill in my brow. Which really gives a nice effect of a little bit, like just slightly lighter on the inner portion and then darker and more defined out there. And I think that's pretty much it. So that's the brow with the pomade that we just did. So I'm going to move on to our final brow product, which is one of those as seen on TV makeup products that is absolutely amazing. And that is called the Wonder Brow. You might have seen this floating around on Facebook ads or Instagram for quite a while now. I think I've had this tube for close, it's been over six months, maybe close to a year that I've had it. So I'm going to zoom you guys in and show you guys how I do my brows with Wonder Brow. All right, so I'm going to brush up my brow because I forgot to do that last time and I don't want to forget this time. So I brush up and then comb. Because if you just brush up, I don't know if you guys can see, but it'll leave your tail hairs a little bit frayed. So I brush up and then just kind of use the tip to brush those brow hairs down. So when I use the Wonder Brow, I'm going in with a totally clean angled brush this time. This one's just a Sephora one. So when I use this product, I just take the tip off like this and I will grab all my product from it like this. I will do the same method that I did when I did this brow, where I will start with the arch to the tail, to the bottom of the arch, do the tail, and then blend in in the middle. This product dries quickly, so you need to work pretty quick. So up into the arch. This product, I can't really create a different shape with my eyebrow. You just kind of have to go with it, go with your natural brow. But it does really fill in your brows nicely. You just gotta work for it a little bit. Bring the product down so that it matches my other brow. That was a little bit too far. So before it dries, let's take a little bit off. Let's fix that later with some concealer and foundation. So I'll do the under portion using small strokes to try to mimic hair and then draw the bottom line and fill in. Now this product, you do need to grab more product to fill in this sparse area at the front if you have that. And one thing you need to do as you're using Wonder Brow as you go along is take a spool. You have to brush the product because otherwise it will dry in the clumps that it kind of goes onto your eyebrow with. So I will then need a little bit more product because it will dry out on the brush a little bit. And I will go back over everything I did just to make sure it's super defined. So go back up into this arch. So that's all the product that I'm going to be putting on. I'm going to brush it again since we just put some more wet product on it. Very lightly. When I brush after the Wonder Brow project is on, I don't at all push like into my skin. I will just lightly comb the top layer of hair. All right, so I'm going to zoom you guys out and show you guys what I do to finish up my brows. So I zoomed you guys out and I'm going to show you two different ways to finish off your brows. So when you are done your brows, if you are just kind of going on a natural day, you might just leave it at this and just, I mean, I have a full face of makeup on, but let's pretend I didn't have that. I would maybe just leave my brows like this and just go on with my day. But if you are wearing makeup and you want to take an extra step to kind of make sure that your brows look as good as they can be, I will highlight under the brow bone. That is a natural spot where sun and light will hit your face because it's a bone, it protrudes from your face a little bit, and highlighting under there will make your brows just look so much better. So there are two different options that you can do. You can go in with just a powder, or you can kind of conceal to outline them, and then maybe put a powder on top. So I'm gonna show you both methods. So the first one I will do
So the first one I'm going to do is just the powder, and I'm going to go into my Tartelette in Bloom palette, and I'm going to use the color Charmer, which is right here. It's a kind of like a yellow toned white, so maybe more of a cream color. Put some on a brush, and I'm gonna do it on this side. And just kind of work that product into the arch of your brow. I like this color for an under eye highlight because you can go really natural or you can do what I just did and kind of pack it on and really amp it up. So that is one option. So the next option is to use concealer to really trace out your brow. I'm gonna zoom you guys in to show you this one. All right, so you're zoomed in and ready to see. So this is what it looks like close up with the other eye. So it's just a really pretty kind of highlight on there. It's a matte shadow. You can easily use a glitter shadow if you want, but I just did a matte one today. So I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Light Sand. I'm going to put, I'm not even kidding, I'm just gonna kind of go boop. That's all you need. Do not brush this product like this under your brow because you will cover half your face with this product. It, the smallest amount goes the longest way. All right, so now that I cleaned off that brush, I'm going to blend in this concealer. And you just kind of want to gently place it on under your brow, and this will help really create a defined brow look. I'm going to take a different shade this time. I'm going to go in with Funny Girl. You can see how that just, the light just hits it there. I usually prefer a glitter or shimmery under brow highlight but that's not always the most natural, so doing a matte one is just as nice, depending on the look you're going for. So that is the video on how to do your brows four different ways with four different products. So if you liked this video, I hope to see you guys in my next one. It will be out on Friday. So I hope you guys had a great time learning how to do your brows a couple different ways, and I will see you guys on Friday. Bye.